Hello, I'm Tony Morsey and I play Kenneth in ITV's Penadorm. And I get to talk first today because it's my birthday. I just want to pan that way to all my birthday cards so you can see how popular I am with my cast members. And today I'm with my very good friend and able assistant, Adam Gillen, who plays Liam. And my very personal hairdresser, he does this hair every day, Jake Canuso, who plays Mateo. So we're going to tell you about our holidays. Obviously our show is about holidays. So um, I'm going to ask Adam, what is your worst holiday nightmare? My worst holiday nightmare was probably in Amsterdam when I was 18. And, <gasps> yeah. Is it safe? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, I've got to temper it. Go on. Go on. Um, me and my three friends went. Um, What's getting worse? To <laughs> to Amsterdam, and we had we got a, a rental apartment, and uh, we decided to get um, very drunk. Or they Ooh. did, I don't drink, I was just watching. And then he, one of my friends got into a bit of a state and was hyperventilating. And then we got lost on a pedalo and we took uh, half of the, the, the sort of pier off of a barge home. We sort of crashed in and took out the wood and it was. And the man came out of the shower naked and said, what are you doing? I can't do the accent. Um, and then we nearly got arrested and we bumped into a barge. It was an absolute mess. I think we better move swiftly on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good old Amsterdam, eh? That's yeah. a good one, though. I like what about that. you? It's funny. Mine are never ever? funny. Mine are always horrible. Go on. Um, Is it painful? Yeah, this one was painful. Oh. Um, I was 16. I was in Mexico. Um, I think it was my first sort of big holiday to somewhere like tropical um, on the Pacific coast. Padding it out now. Um, I, um, I'd gone with my sister, my nephew, my sister used to live in Mexico, and I remember I had a cocktail at the bar called Bata de Mula, which means the donkey's kick, which is four different, there's tequila in it, whiskey, a kick. definitely a kick, and I was 16, and I hadn't really drank before then, so we had a few of those drinks, and then I just walked from the beach to the hotel, which was just literally on the beach, you had to go past a, a, a path on the side, like a cement path, and as I walked, it was dark, and I didn't really see, it was a little bit tipsy, I didn't realise that there was a big hole on the floor, so I fell in the hole and I just caught myself like this. And there were all these metal poles sticking out underneath. Oh my God. And it went right in my leg. In the, oh, your dancer's go. leg. Yeah, so basically, if I'd gone any further, if I hadn't grabbed my hands, it would have pierced me completely, like one of those yeah. sort of, you know, jungle oh my God. animal traps. Your thing. career could have been over before it started. Yeah, it nearly was. Indiana Jones. I think the funny thing I did is I got out of the hole and I was too embarrassed to go back because my older sister was there. I was too embarrassed to sort of tell her. So I went to the bar and just got the barman to pour loads of different alcohol on my leg. And he made me drink <laughs> more alcohol. He did. He made me drink more alcohol. It was so painful. Can you get a job from that? Pouring alcohol into a wound. I mean, how does it go into your bloodstream? Probably only if you lift your leg and you make it go that way. Oh, wait, but, um, anyway, so that was that. And then, like, two hours later, I knocked on my door and I said, Don't worry, nothing bad has happened, which, of course, um, is a big thing. And then I had to, um, the next day, it was a very small place by the beach. I had to go and have it stitched up. And there was no doctor. Healed, otherwise, the Spice Girls would never have happened. I know. A vet did my leg. A vet did your leg. A vet stitched my leg up. Yeah, I got oh. a big scar like that. So that was you my. You have to wear a cone. <laughs> 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 it's funny how all our holiday nightmares all involve alcohol. Yeah. Mine does too. Um, I went to Benedictine, you know, the um, festival oh, in Spain, yeah. and I, I was like, "We bit tiddly." I and, didn't um, know you drank. And I, but now and again, only on special Christmas occasions. Show. And I got a little bit drunk, and I had a pint in this hand and a pint in this hand that was getting drinks for me and my mate. And <laughs> I tripped on a concrete slab, and rather than let the pants, the pints go and save myself, I just went face down. Oh. So if you come a little bit closer. Yeah, I should have the war wounds there. Oh, yeah. Because I was whisked off to a tent to be stitched up. And then the next morning, I got so drunk that night, I thought I had a hair coming out my nose, so I went... <gasps> and ripped all the stitches out, and my <coughs> face exploded all over the place. <laughs> and it never went back to the whole yeah. world. So that's our real holidays. What about on-set nightmares? It usually involves giggling with me when you just can't stop. Terrible giggle. There was one. When was the last, I think... It's always giggling, because then you just can't break the cycle, and, and then people start getting angry with you. I think there's one time I had to be a scene in just white fronts and nothing else, and I, it wasn't a pretty picture. But I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't stop giggling. It was. And then, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I couldn't stop giggling, just how absolutely ridiculous this whole thing was. And then, um, yeah. What was your, what was your tagline? Um, you were at a fancy dress party. I, I've come in with pants. <laughs> You. Oh, on, on, set. On, on set nightmare, real nightmare. 
It's more or less the same thing, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it was when we did um, when I had to do that. Um, do you remember one year I had to run through? There was all these scenes that I did. It was the hairdresser when I was getting waxed. Mm. Yes, and you, know, you had to run through the streets. And I had to run through. So I'm, I'm getting waxed, and they they sort of do this sort of trick on me where she didn't like me, which was played by Maxine, makeup mm. artist. Yeah. She was all waxing me, and, and Matera had done something to her sister, so telling me to go and wait in a room and I opened the door and they pushed me out and I was on the road so then I had to run through all the streets naked with my hands like this and I crossed um, uh, one of the essays who sort of had a hat on his head and Mateo sort of had to grab the hat and do this and keep running and um, one of the time I had to run a long long way literally I mean now we couldn't do that because everybody would be filming it was very early on I remember once I did it, as I was running, I dropped the hat and literally everything was exposed. Hey. People in the screen <laughs> that she grabbed it. So, a bit embarrassing. My worst one was uh, series 10. The guy that played Vladimir, who was my um, Russian fancy piece, he was seven foot tall. And I had to film a scene in Blow and Go where I had to kiss him. So just before we filmed the scene, unfortunately for me, they came around with a tray of tuna sandwiches. <laughs> so I was sort of watching him in a corner scoff this tray of tuna sandwiches <laughs> about to film the scene so he had this beard and it was caked in tuna and i was just like who who so i said to the makeup girl i said do me let's just get him to clean his beard and she went, i can't and i'm too embarrassed and i said you've got to do something i said i can't kiss that so she went up and she she said would you like to have some water and, no thank you so much no no he wouldn't drink the water so he said okay we're ready to film the scene so i had to kiss him with this face full of wet tuna and there was an exchange of Fishy fluids. Oh, 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 it wasn't pleasant. That. It wasn't pleasant. So that was my worst nightmare on set. So there you go. We've had a lovely time here in Woking. Yeah. So um, thanks for having us, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Come here, boys. Let's blow Woking again.